Hi everyone, uh, this is Paolo Grassi, Senior Director of Product Management, overseeing managed FortiGet service. In this video, I will show you how to onboard the two managed FortiGet service as a new customer. On the main FortiCloud dashboard, go to Services, Cloud Services, Managed FortiGate. The welcome page opens. The device subscription summary gives an overview of uh, registered FortiGate devices with their corresponding uh, onboarding and uh, entitlement status. In my case, there are five FortiGate devices registered under this FortiCloud account, zero onboarded to the service, three with an active entitlement not onboarded yet, and two without an active entitlement. The timeline section shows the different stages of the onboarding process, and it will be refreshed in line with onboarding progress. To launch the uh, onboarding wizard, click on the Start Onboarding button. This button is only visible if there is at least one FortiGate device with a valid managed FortiGate service entitlement not onboarded to the service yet. The onboarding wizard is designed for swift execution with most information pre-populated through integration with FortiCloud. During the preparation step, you will be asked to choose your customer type, either a regular customer or MSSP. If you manage client FortiGates under your FortiCloud account, then select MSSP. If you manage your own FortiGates, under your FortiCloud account, then select Regular Customer. Based on the selection, the onboarding wizard will be populated accordingly. In my case, I'm selecting Regular Customer. During the first step of the onboarding wizard, you will be asked to select the region to deploy the FortiManager Cloud instance. Managed FortiGate service is leveraging FortiManager Cloud for cloud-based central management. Simply select one region from the drop-down list. At this point, the wizard is automatically prompting to select 40 gate devices with an active entitlement not onboarded to the service yet. The serial number description and location is automatically updated from FortiCloud. Here I'm selecting the three FortiGate devices to import. Add contacts. In this section, you will add users that will be allowed to use the service with their corresponding role. There are three different roles. Administrator, to perform portal management activities. Initiator, to create service or change requests. And Approver, to approve change requests created by another user. If your company requires separation of duties in terms of having user A raising requests and user B approving it, this is a setup that we support. Alternatively, the same user can have multiple roles. At least one administrator, one initiator, and one approver must be provided for the onboarding wizard to continue. Based on the role specified, users will have access to different portal sections. For example, only administrators will have access to the user management section. The drop-down list is automatically populated with a list of users, either sub-accounts or IIM, available in FortiCloud. You can add additional users via FortiCloud. So here I have already selected one user and three different roles applied to it. On the additional info page, add an email address to receive notifications related to the onboarding process, special requests, 
for the managed 40 gig service team can be provided in the notes field, while useful files can be shared using the file upload button. Once all fields completed, take a minute to review the summary terms of your request. If there is anything that needs to be changed, click the back button and make the changes as needed. You can also save the onboarding request as draft. When ready, click on the Submit button to complete your onboarding request. The team is targeting to complete uh, new customer onboarding requests within three business days, and you will be able to follow the onboarding progress via the timeline. I received an email from the managed Fortigate service team regarding my onboarding status, so I connected back to the portal to find out more. The Timeline section includes now all the steps completed so far, such as onboarding requested, instance provisioned, and the step where we are at the moment, enable for the manager cloud. The pending service request widget lists all requests that are pending my action. Let's click on the customer onboarding request to get more insights regarding my onboarding. In this service request, the team is giving me a status update and instructions on how to continue onboarding by enabling Forti Manager Cloud. That is one step needed to authorize the managed FortiGate service team to manage my FortiGate. Let's do it together by connecting to the GUI of my FortiGate. On the FortiGate GUI, under Security Fabric, Fabric Connectors, Central Management, Edit, Status Enabled, select Type Forti Manager Cloud, leave all other parameters as default, and click on OK. Once done, an authorization request will be generated from this FortiGate to the Forti Manager Cloud that will be processed by the managed FortiGate service team. And I can accept this warning. Perfect. This is now the status of my FortiGate. I need to wait confirmation from the managed FortiGate service team so that the onboarding can be finalized. Onboarding is now completed. I received a welcome email from the managed FortiGate service team. By connecting back to the portal, I have the possibility to provide the feedback regarding my onboarding experience. The timeline is now service portal ready. All the menu options on the left hand side are unlocked and I can make the most of the service by interacting with the managed FortiGate service team. Thanks for watching.